Australia adopted a new regulatory framework for medical devices in 2002 based on the GHTF model and then extended this framework to include IVDs in 2010. Australia's model for both general medical devices and IVDs is that first developed by the GHTF, but regulations have not been updated to take into account more recent changes resulting from the update of GHTF documents, resulting in some minor differences. Classifications are classes 1, 2A, 2B, and 3 for general medical devices and classes 1, 2, 3, and 4 for IVDs rather than classes A, B, C, and D. The Australian regulation allows for type testing and verification routes for conformity assessment, which is equivalent to Annexes 3 and 4 of the European MDD. These routes are not allowable for IVDs. Essential principles for general medical devices are separated from those for IVDs and their wording changes. Finally, the Australian Therapeutic Goods Administration, or TGA, requires manufacturers to have in place a QMS aligned with ISO 13485. This is the standard to which the TGA audits. Australia has in place three formal international agreements for exception of medical device certification. The mutual recognition agreements that Australia has with the EU and the EFTA states, excluding Switzerland, allows medical devices, not IVDs, manufactured in those geographical regions to be assessed by designated notified bodies to Australian requirements and be entered on the Australian Register of Therapeutic Goods. In addition, the TGA assesses Australian-made devices for compliance with EU requirements so that manufacturers may affix the CE mark. The Mutual Recognition Agreements, MRAs, have a country of origin clause, which means that devices manufactured outside the borders of the participating member countries are not subject to the agreement i.e., a device manufactured in the U.S. cannot be assessed by a European notified body for acceptance in Australia. Also, not all devices are subject to the agreements. There is a list of exclusions. The Memorandum of Understanding, or MOU, between the TGA and Health Canada allows Canadian registrars accredited under the MOU to issue QMS certification to Canadian manufacturers, which is accepted in Australia without further assessment, and for the TGA to issue Australian manufacturers with a Canadian Conformity Assessment Certification, or CMDCAS. The agreement does not cover product compliance and the products must undergo assessment in accordance with the respective regulatory requirements. There is currently only one accredited Canadian registrar. Other than through these agreements, the TGA does not allow third-party assessment of medical devices, although that position is under consideration as part of a package of proposed device reforms. The TGA does, however, accept evidence of conformity assessment from overseas bodies for most lower-risk devices in considering an application for entry onto the Australian Register of Therapeutic Goods.